The family looked content as they tucked into burgers and chips in the pub garden. They enjoyed their meal in the fresh air, with their family pet, a black spaniel, in tow. Prince George looked casual and relaxed in a t-shirt and shorts, a change from his usual formal attire for royal events. An onlooker described how it was amazing to see how down-to-earth the family were. They added, it would have been easy to miss them, and just assume they were any other family. They were laughing and chatting and clearly enjoying each other's com- The fellow pub-goer also told the son, they were eating outside, I suppose because it was easier for the children. There was no security around, just them chilling like any other family. Wills had a burger and chips. They had their pet dog, a spaniel with them, and they were all laughed. The witness described one particularly touching moment where one of the children got upset because their food was too hot. William was so fast to reassure them and sort them out. It was fantastic to see. This lunch will have been a welcome break for Prince William and Kate, who have been busy with royal engagements up and down the country. The Duchess recently met teenage tennis sensation, Emma Raducanu, as well as visiting cadets in Lake Windermere last week. She also got stuck into activities such as abseiling and mountain biking, finding the time to travel to Oxfordshire and meet Afghan veterans in Bryce Norton. Earlier last week, the Duchess of Cambridge attended an event at the National Portrait Gallery to celebrate the amazing power of photography. She was promoting, hold still, and explained on Instagram the significance of the project for her. She said, the idea for hashtag hold still 2020 came right at the start of the pandemic, and aimed to bring people and communities together, using the amazing power of photography. It was made possible by so many partners at National Portrait Gallery at Kupak at Book Fairies underscore up, to name just a few, and what's more remarkable is how it was all orchestrated from kitchen tables and spare bedrooms. She added, thank you to all the brilliant partners who made Hold Still a reality. It took a long time to bring everyone behind this incredible project together in person but tonight we finally managed it. Prince William was spotted out and about numerous times last week, visiting Dulwich Hamlet Football Club to discuss football governance with prominent names. He chatted with former England striker, Peter Crouch, following the collapse earlier this year of the European Super League. Prince William is the president of the Football Association, FA, football's governing body. Both the Duke of Cambridge and Peter Crouch expressed concern and condemnation over the European Super League before it collapsed, after many of the teams withdrew.